Hi, hello, this is gonna be shocking for many of you to hear, but did you know that black people are not the only race to have historically experienced slavery? I know this is shocking, but pretty much every civilization in the history of mankind, at some point their ancestry owns, owned slaves because slavery was a worldwide human rights issue for a very, very long time, for many centuries. So it doesn't matter if you're white, black, Asian, Hispanic, whatever, very likely at some point your ancestry down the line owned slaves. Doesn't make it right, but that was just the way of the world for a very, very long time. So all these comments like, you're not black, you can't speak about slavery, it doesn't matter what color your skin is. Slavery was a human rights issue across the world, across all races and all civilizations for a long time. And the United States was one of the first countries to abolish it very quickly and efficiently. So all the comments about being a non-black person, you can't speak about slavery. Every single civilization has experienced slavery. That was Gina Bontempo, a health and fitness coach who also has a show and a podcast called I'm Doing Great, where her and her co-hosts talk about culture and politics. Now that clip I just showed you was from Gina's second TikTok account, at GMFflorio 2.0. Apparently, her first account was frequently reported for her videos breaking community guidelines. Just in case you couldn't tell based on what you just saw or heard, then you should know that she said that there were no trans men dominating men's sports, but there were trans women dominating women's sports without naming names. She said that the story of the 10 year old girl from here in Ohio who needed to get an abortion in Indiana after becoming pregnant when getting raped was fake and offered no apology when that was proven to be true. But what we're going to focus on is her defense to saying in her podcast that on U.S. soil, abortion was worse than slavery. That's what she was trying to clear up with the TikTok from the beginning of this video. Abortions worse than slavery. Well, the I don't care how, I don't care if this hurts your feelings. I don't care. Abortion is the number one worst human rights issue that has ever happened on American soil. Who is she arguing with? What debate is there where someone doesn't know about the history of slavery from other races and civilizations? The point is that not all, quote, white, black, Hispanic, whatever, were enslaved in America or benefited from slavery in America. Concerning that nonsense, what's interesting for me is, a few months ago, I made a video addressing Candace Owens' White People in Bondage PragerU video, which features a lot of these same talking points. Well. Someone on TikTok called Gina the Asian Candace Owens, and Gina said this. Oh my gosh, I love this. I worked for her for over two years. I was her very first hire, so I can't wait to, to tell her that I'm the Asian Candace Owens. She's gonna love it, love it. And no, the US wasn't one of the first countries to abolish slavery. And I'll excuse the technicality of the term abolish and just go with freeing the enslaved. Haiti, for example, free themselves decades before the U.S. issued the 13th Amendment. And how is a civil war where a country essentially fought itself to maintain the Union an efficient way to end slavery? 250 years or so after it started. And I'll say now what I said in my Candace Owens video I referenced earlier, that 300,000 Union soldiers overwhelmingly white, as Candace puts it, died to end slavery in the Civil War, but they were fighting white men who wanted to maintain slaves. Oh, and let us not forget the neither slavery nor involuntary servitude except as a punishment for crime whereof the party shall have been duly convicted, exception clause of the 13th Amendment, which maintains enslavement. We know black people weren't the only race of people in the history of the world to be enslaved, but we're currently reckoning with the legacy and vestiges from that time period. Why in the world would we talk about, say, what the English did to the Irish when we're talking about life on this here soil in this here country, which was stolen from the natives and built on the backs of black people? Anyways, when someone asks Gina straight up, why is abortion worse? I'd love to know your take so we can help you get better information. She just used it as an opportunity to plug her podcast and get more views, which may ultimately be what this is all about. For Rebel HQ, I'm Jeff Wiggins. My architect knows Japanese. For more from the Young Turks, stay right here. If you want to see content from yours truly, click on the hashtag below. I can also be found on all socials at He Gonna Be Alright. Thanks for watching.